hello 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 and welcome back to your channel guys our channel the wrapped and scraps channel you guys today we are going on a little trip to world market home goods hobby lobby michael's and bob's furniture yes because i'm looking for some new furniture so i thought i'd start us off in world market you guys know that world market is that spot where you can get little knickknacks that are different and unique i love it um i'm really into the golds and really all of the metals right now. I'm kind of mixing metals in my living room as well as around the other portions of my home right now. So for me, I love going to World Market to find those little special pieces. Look at this, isn't that the cutest little snail? <laughs> I love him. Um, so I'm looking for different things. I'll probably come back and pick up some things, but I wanted to just share with you guys. I know World Market is kind of one of those places where it's hit or miss, or sometimes you don't have one in your neighborhood, or your area. So I thought I would just share some footage to show you what's in World Market, okay? We've got some furniture out here. We've got some bowls, some cups, some bakeware, some everything. So you guys sit back and relax, enjoy, and I'll check back in in a minute. So you guys, I saw this little cutting board. It's too pretty to cut on. I'm assuming it's like a cheese board, but it's just gorgeous. So World Market is really good for having little um, special foods and hot sauces and jellies and jams and all kind of things when it comes to the kitchen. So if you're looking for some special ingredients, stop by and check out World Market. So next, we are on to Home Goods. I was trying to make my runs real quick this morning. And you guys know I love pumpkins. You guys who know me know I love fall. So I was looking for some pumpkins and I did discover a few that I liked. Picked them up. One of them you'll see later on. Well, actually, I think the video is already out where I painted it blue. That one with the goat leaves going across the top on that third shelf up. I painted it blue and left the gold leaves. It's so beautiful. So when you get a chance, check out that video, my fall haul video, and you can see that. But I'll go ahead and insert a small clip of it here. So as some of you might know, I am redoing my living room. I'm really excited. I bought a new sofa, a new sectional, and I have purchased some throw pillows for the sectional, but I wanted my throw pillows to match my curtains. So I did recently purchase some curtains as well. I bought an extra panel so that I could make some throw pillows with piping in it to match my sofa. I will be sharing that with you guys in an upcoming video because I'm gonna be showing you how I made the pillows. So stay tuned for that. All right, you guys, so the next store that we decided to go to was Hobby Lobby. I love Hobby Lobby for all of their little odds and ends for the kitchen, for decor. You, It's like a one-stop shop if you've never been. It is um, Christian based store and they are closed on Sunday, so don't try to go to Hobby Lobby on the Sunday, sis, because no one's gonna be there. But they have great things, everything from sewing, to decor, to arts and craft, you name it, it's in there, and that's why it's usually my one-stop go-to shop spot. Now, they don't do coupons anymore, like Michael's and Joann's, but usually they have a lot of things on sale, okay? So I'm in there usually getting my paints, my metallics, I like to pick up chalk paints, epoxy i get some of my wax for my candles there i mean you name it you can find it at hobby good old lobby all right i do want to say their prices for florals and things like that change on a week-to-week -week basis so if you go to hobby lobby and you're looking for some flowers or whatever it is check in that week to see if it's on sale if it's not on sale there then go to Michael's or Joann's. But usually they have their sales, they kind of go in and out of the week. I love these lanterns they have. You can always find some good lamps, some good lanterns, all shapes, all sizes, all styles. It's a great spot to go. I personally went in that day to look for sewing materials and a couple of 
things to put in my kitchen. So I was checking out the fall stuff, as you can see here. For those who might be interested, Hobby Lobby also has a nice assortment of African fabrics. I know sometimes those are kind of hit or miss. And it's hard to find. Uh, I know Joanne carries them, but I never really stopped to look at any of Hobby Lobby's fabrics, usually because I was always looking for something else. Now, when it comes to sewing machines, ladies, I feel everyone should have a sewing machine. Look at the price here, $69.99 for a sewing machine. So if you, sis, don't know how to sew, really don't know what you're doing, get you a little cheap sewing machine, get you some thread, pick you up some zippers and start making some pillows for your sofa or your bedroom or your guest room or your child's room. Just start and learn the basics. There's so many YouTube videos on all of this type of stuff. I think it's really an essential thing. Look when we had the pandemic and there was no mask. You guys, I made good money making masks during the pandemic. I made several thousand dollars making masks for people's face. That didn't take me very long at all because other people didn't know how to sew. It's very important to at least know how, okay? At least have the sewing machine around in case you might want to sew something. They do have children's Bibles, books, teenagers, adults, all that jazz. Anything you can find in like a Bible bookstore, you're probably going to find it here in Hobby Lobby, okay? Lots of pictures, a lot of really cute stuff for kids. Um, I love how they color code some of their shelvings. That really makes me happy. Kind of reminds me of Charm and Charlie's, if you guys remember that store in the mall where it was like an accessory store where everything matched. It's kind of like that in certain sections of the store. Mainly the first entrance. Once you get past the entrance, there's a whole section where everything's kind of color coordinated. So sis, if you're looking for some reasonably priced framing for pictures or art or whatever it is that you want to do with it, check out Hobby Lobby, okay? Usually they have stuff that's on sale, like here today, it's 50% off, or they have some that are on clearance. And they're nice frames, they're nice frames. And remember, you can always paint them if you don't like the color. Don't limit yourself, you can always paint them if you don't like the color, okay? All right, sis, so our next stop is Michael's. Now, I was just at Hobby Lobby and I was looking for their florals to see if they were on sale and they weren't. So like I told you, usually if Hobby Lobby isn't having a, having a sale, Michael's or Joanne's is. So I decided to go over to Michael's. You can see the fall stuff is 40% off. And I just wanted to snatch up some blues, some tans, some cream, some whites, some greens, and a little bit of orange, um, just a little bit. And just kind of in my hand, throw together a quick little bouquet. I like to do this in the store um, because it lets me know what I might need further to make the bouquet like finished. And um, that works for me. Also, it lets me know how much I'm gonna be paying once I gather the whole bouquet together. I hate running back and forth to the store trying to fix the bouquet or buy more stuff. So I like to go ahead and make my bouquets in the store. And so our last stop you guys are at Bob is at Bob's Furniture Discount Store. I am looking for a new bedroom set and I'm not really sure on what style I want. I don't know if I want it to be sleek, modern, contemporary, traditional. I'm not sure I am a kind of traditional girl with a bit of glam. I'm kind of like a, a European lamb, French country mix type of girl, but I like the Hampton look too. I'm all over the place. So I'm trying to decide which one I want. I did check out some of the different furnishing packages. I find their prices very reasonable and I do find that their furniture is pretty nice. It's not top quality. It's not um, Ashley or Jerome's and all that stuff. Well, it's probably equal to Jerome's if you want to measure uh, quality. But it's nice pieces. They're put together well. They have a great program. I will say I like that when I walked in, I wasn't bomb rushed. I was introduced to one of the associates and then she left me alone so I can walk around and see what I want to see. So I do appreciate that. Uh, shout out to Bob's Furniture for not being overbearing to their customers. I appreciate it. I'm also checking out this canopy bed. I kind of want a canopy bed, you guys. I kind of do. I grew up with a canopy bed. I had a strawberry shortcakes canopy bed as a child. I had a whole bedroom set and then I had the Little Mermaid. So, you know, I, I'm still inside. You know, we, we ladies like our frou frou stuff. So I'm trying to make the room masculine and throw a little femininity in there with a, some sexiness, you know what I mean? You have like a sexy bedroom. So we'll see, but I just thought I'd share this store with you guys so you guys can take a look around in case you've never been in here. Again, this is Bob's Furniture.
You guys, I thought this white bedroom set would be so cute for a little girl's room. I thought this would be really nice, even for a guest room. Um, in the right size, of course, you need a, a queen or a king for a guest room, in my opinion. But I thought that was really cute. One of the things that I'm noticing that I see with a lot of this furniture nowadays for bedrooms, they're not coming standard with two dressers, uh, nightstands. They're not coming standard with two nightstands. They'll have one nightstand and then a dresser and then whatever else. So I'm looking on the back of some of these cards and I see only one nightstand in the picture. And I'm thinking, when, when did that become a trend? Um, even if you live in loan, as I did for many years before I got remarried, uh, I still had two nightstands. So it's just a little strange, but just if you're ordering a bedroom set, look out for that. Don't order a bedroom set that only has one night stand unless that's what you want. Just know that it may not come standard. Hey friends, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed coming with me to shop around and browse and see what's out in the world, to see what's out on the shelves, to see what's out there to buy. Now I did purchase a lot of stuff from the different stores that we just went to. I did show all of what I bought in a video that's already up called my fall haul shop with me. So check that out if you haven't already. And I had a good time. I hope you had a good time. And I hope that you're taking care of yourself, loving yourself, loving other people. Spread some love. There's so much love that's needed in this little crazy world. I pray all of those who are dealing with the weather issues around the states are okay. You know, I'm praying for all the families. Remember to stay wrapped in scraps, meaning repurpose, recycle, and reuse all parts of your life. Remember to stay loving you because you can't love anyone else if you don't love you. Stay loving God because he is love. Stay loving life because you're still here living it. You might as well. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, fam.